Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. We're diverting all traffic through little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? Shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down, it's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is for You're me? You're not the only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <sighs> Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days.
Tanya has always been late. Nah, not really. Only since she's been seeing him. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot! Mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. It's curled up his ass. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her, if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her.
right back to Brian Watson. He pulls in his left by green on a big play. And out comes Buxton. Here's a lead pass. Edison in and out. He tries. And Albert saves. Coming up 15 feet to bring it up. Beach checked on the play. Points four in the corner. Set it. Stopped by Rolford. Spread around the boards. Controlled by Cockman. And Esposito with a quick shot. And Rutherford, what a beautiful save. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Cashman out of the car to Esposito and then attacked in charge of the top corner on the far side. And you watch. It's okay, Dad. Anya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Esposito and Westfall. Quick crossing. Esposito will go live. A one man music free lane. You see the Westfall. He shots the save. He scores and there's no rebound. Well, the Bruins had great sustained action in the Pittsburgh game on the penalty and great to score. But a good break here as Giesing made a very, very fine play. Trailing still has to be in the to make a shift in the Pittsburgh defense. Lost the puck. Giesing picked it up from behind. Front end to the left side. Dribble across and stopped by Rutherford, but you can't stop the ball. Or breaks it up. Kicks it back. It says Marcotte away, picking up West Ball. Two on one for the moment. Marcotte. To Westfall, tip, Rutherford, great save on Bob Cazino. Struggled up to Schickel, so John Stewart in the south wing, coming up on Dallas Smith. Pass back, Schickel gets in, scores! Now Ken Schickel scores his second goal of the game so far as he picks up the puck off Teddy Greenspan and fires his second shot. That went right between Cheever's legs. It was about six inches off the ice, and Cheever started to go down. And right back to Brian Wilson. He pulls in his left by Green on a big play. And out comes Buxton. Here's a lead pass. Edison in alone. He tries. And Albert saves. Coming up 15 feet to bring it up. Beach checked on the play. Fight scoring the corner. Set of it. Stopped by Rolford. Right around the boards. Controlled by Cockman. And that's Cazino with a quick shot. Son of a bitch clock. Where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? Kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan?
is everybody? Anthony, help! <laughs> Gotta get Megan out! Won't you spare me over till another
Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help. If you can manage that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. <sighs> Stay here. Don't move. <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh. Where's my phone? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. Not even a tiny scratch. We're scratch. fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, your college professor. We were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character-building exercise. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. Uh, that bang on the head must have been a beauty. 
That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around, see if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! Great job, you two. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? 
I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? What? I walked away from you! Uh huh. So you thought better of going it alone then? Fog spook you, did it? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time! It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! What is this shit? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can... Now what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. And... Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? You're not giving some dumbass co- Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this, don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? 
I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could believe Please me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right fucking I need now. to think straight. I could have taken football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. Head in town and... You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? Lighten up. You know I was only messing with you. You didn't sound like you were messing just now. Come on, will you? That long, long face doesn't suit you. Your attitude towards us sucks. 
I don't know what to say to that. Maybe she is right about you. Let's just forget it. Or maybe you like older women more. You seem to fawn over everything she says. I'm really trying hard to like you, but you're not making it easy. If you want me to take you seriously, then your shit needs to hold together a lot more than it has up till now. What the? You okay? You look shaken. I'm absolutely fine. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. Have you seen him? What? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's Pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry here Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of filth. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a good reason to be here. Right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. You want to tell us about it? Not the sharing type. Do I look like I'm a big talker? Let's just leave him be. <laughs> there are all kinds of his play. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> Uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. <clears throat> Am I intruding here? Not at all. I was about to take a look around anyway. Don't ask.
need an umbilical cord for that. <clears throat> Funny. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you doing? Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. You doing okay? Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. That is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. There's no goddamn us. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down.
This place has some great history. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Fuck.
Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? feeling about this we'll figure it out the way this fog just appears it's not natural What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than enough, thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog, Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up?
Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Fine. Don't believe me. You two. We need to stick close. Very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Hey, wait for us! What is that? Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Your name, sir. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the 
hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. Why? Do I, I don't see any fire. Are you okay? I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this. Impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell him what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. And some other woman was with her. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not.
these unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister. in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble, or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. She sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Might get a better view from up there.
How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies.
What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> This is not good. Hey! Anyone there? What the hell have you done to us? Hell? Calm down. Breathe. Strangers are not welcome here in Little Hope. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me! How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. I am not... Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. 
No way am I going down there. I'm a John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Butt out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? I guess someone should go with her. Really? I'd be okay on my own, but... Sure. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about.
Great job. Glad you made it over. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> If you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. Someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. I'm telling you, there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. I know the others will... Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away, and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Piece of cake. You're up next.
You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. I'm sure it's nothing. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh. Looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Hey, it was a collective decision. We'll find another way. Hold up. That must be what we heard just now. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps big time. Are you okay? You should come out of there right now. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. talking about get away or you will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you're in there please no <laughs> 
let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Oh, let's get out of here, right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. You're glad I'm here? Doesn't seem like that to me. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help? Let's head over. Let me help you. <sighs> Shit, sorry. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. Find another way. <laughs> 